Yeah, thank you. Uh, good morning to you. Good morning to my colleague and our viewers. Mm -hmm. uh, as we get these reportage, uh, it, it doesn't uh, send a good signal to all of us. And, and as a government, uh, it's our duty uh, to be up and doing as far as uh, combating uh, crimes and security issues are concerned. And what you just said, uh, if it is reported today because of social media, any little this thing, you know, goes viral. And, and in the international circles, especially at a time where we are pushing for foreign direct investments and mm. others international. It puts a dent on our image, doesn't yes, it? Yes, mm. and so when people begin to see that international journalists was murdered here, uh, it sends the wrong signal. And then again, uh, this Fulani issue, if people begin to see that a lot of people are having arms unregistered, mm. okay, and, and, and possessing them and moving about freely, uh, especially when they also know that such people are mostly involved in criminal conducts, armed robbery on our highways and co. Uh, it also sends the wrong signal. So the police uh, need to uh, be more proactive and preemptive of, of crime. And, and the police will only succeed in that aspect if they work in tandem with informants. Mm -hmm. I've said many times I'm a barracks boy, and, and I know how the informants, individual civilians, have helped the police uh, in combating crime, okay? They get privy, they get to know certain actions by individuals who are attempting to commit crime, and then they alert the police. Mm -hmm. And so they are able to stop them before. And so we need these informants. But the unfortunate thing is that most times, these informants are then their names and identity get leaked. Mm. Okay, and then and that is a problem that we have within, to deal with. Yes, Adib Sani was just yes, mentioning that yes, situation. Yes, as yes. Well. So yeah. that's that's worrying. And if people that leads to what Adib said, mistrust of the police. Mm. Okay, if, if the public begins to mistrust the police, it becomes a big problem for combating crime. You okay. get it. And but, so that's that's uh, we need to be up and I'm excited about the uh, steps taken by the IGP so right, far. Right. So far, he's getting involved. He's doing what needs to be done. And, and as Adib said, this is to engender public confidence. Okay. In now, the now let, let's let's talk about you know the, the the security apparatus from the standpoint of what you as government are doing to aid the system. Yes, I did mention that in terms of resources, uh, this administration has done quite a bit in terms of resourcing the police. But we also know that in terms of uh, you know the the police to citizen ratio, for example, yeah. we're still we've still not met UN standards of one to about five hundred. We're getting there. Yes, we're getting there. But in in the meantime, there's a lot of crime, which shows that the gap is becoming problematic. Yeah. We, we don't have adequate human resource. Then again, there are the logistics. We're still far behind, even in terms of something as basic as patrol vehicles and all of that. What is your administration doing, or what are you willing to do to mitigate the situation? Well, this, this, this administration, as Adib said, uh, has been uh, uh, very phenomenal in, in resource or retooling uh, the security forces, especially the police. Uh, you know, I'm under the Interior Ministry. Mm -hmm. uh, so we know that since we came, uh, over 600 vehicles has been given to the police and, and uh, other, you know, bulletproofs. We said about, I think, is it 4,000 or so, which is not enough anyway. But uh, we on course in, in getting them the resources to be able to go out there to combat crime. Uh, that aside, as we speak, you spoke about the UN standard one is to 500, and we are around one is to 750 or 775. One is to 800, the last time no, I, I checked. I, the last I checked is one is to 775. Mm. Okay, that's from the report of the That's, the, that, uh, that's still very close yes, to 800. Yes, close to 800. Mm. Uh, we, we, but fortunately, as we speak, there's been uh, a clearance given for the recruitment of some, I think, 2,000 police officers, mm. and totally the security are in uh, about 11,800 uh, people to be recruited. And that is also going to be down there. That's the, so, and, and another thing which I think they are doing a bit well, as for government, we are doing uh, what we found. We even have the, it's not been done because you asked me of the intents as well. Uh, get the helis for the police force. Mm. You get it. We're for helis for the police force. It's, it's a good thing that we need to. When you uh, say helis, uh, just to break it down, are you yes. talking of helicopters? Yes, helicopters. Sorry, <laughs> helicopters. Yes. Yeah, <sorry. laughs> 